Hey, how's it going? Going all right here. No real complaints. Um, something that disappoints me greatly, though, is what's happened to the LGBT activism community. What's happened to LGBT activism in general? You know, it used to mainly be about about our rights, about let's say discrimin you know, discrimination policies in workplaces and stuff, and it's moved completely away from that. I don't, I'm not seeing any push to, or not any significant push anyway, I won't say any, but push to make sure that gay people are added to the anti-discrimination uh, laws as they apply to workplaces and housing and such. There's still a number of states where People can freely discriminate against gay people in their businesses. And the push, uh, you know, as of more lately, has been from the transgender side, the T part of LGBT. It used to be that we were never supposed to try to indoctrinate kids or bring kids into any of this, but since the T part has has taken over, um, now we've got now we've got propaganda for kids. Can't remember the name of the channel now, but geared towards elementary school and younger, we've got we've got people declaring that doctors are doing some terrible disservice and they're anti-trans because they assign a gender to someone at birth. There's people pushing that, well, if a child says that they, they, they're a different gender, then, then we need to believe them. And it's just like, I think about how if I would have, <laughs> if the mindset would have been around when I was little, that's around now, um, you'd probably be talking to, you'd probably be hearing from, from a more high-pitched voice, uh, uh, you know, I, I would have tried to, uh, because when I was, was really little, I, I, I wanted to be a girl. Anyway, so it's just, the, the, dang it, LGBT activism has become exactly what it preached in the 90s that it would never be, that it would never become. Dang spiders again? Get out of my way. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we should be bringing kids into this. You know, once you've turned 18, fine. But until then, um, I just, I'm sorry. Uh, we shouldn't be giving kids uh, hormone blockers. I'm sorry. I just... Kids don't always realize the ramifications for the things that they say that they want. I mean, it's kind of the same thing as the things that you wanted as a kid are certainly not the same things you want as an adult, right? So...
I just don't think that those are the ages where someone can be making those kinds of decisions. If after they're 18 they still feel that way, then hey, do what you want. But just my stating this will be considered anti-trans by, by some people. You know, it's, it's basically agree with this exact narrative or you're anti-LGBT. And I'm just not down with it. Now, granted, I don't... I don't know if I fully... even agree with the notion of, uh... that someone could be born in the, into the wrong body. I don't know. But I'll respect people. They're respectful of me, I'll respect them. I'll call someone by the gender they wish to be called by. Though if it's some new, made up, you know, gender, um, they certainly can't get piss pissy towards me if I if I don't memorize the name very well, because, well, in that case, I might as well just continue to call them by their name and never refer to them as any sort of gender at all. You know? Part of having a, a pronoun is because it's easy to remember than a name. Anyway, um, but what is the, what is the LGBT agenda? It's to make everyone agree with a, a very specific dogma. You know, the dogma that that doctors are evil for gendering people. That uh, being gay is absolutely um, genetic. That uh, two parents of the same uh, sex are just as effective as two parents of the opposite sex. The number of things you, everyone is supposed to just completely be 100% on board with or they're anti-LGBT. Or they're fascist, or they're racist, sexist, homophobic, etc. You know, let's keep widening the definition of all of those things. So anyone who doesn't march lock and step with a particular ideology is those things. <sighs> yeah, it is just as bad as fundamentalists were in the 80s. They have, you know, religious fundamentalists were in the 80s. They've gotten just as bad in that area. This dogmatic shit needs to stop. And this child indoctrination shit needs to stop too.